you're awake. How about that? Uh, I'm just oh, barely... easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Well, hello and welcome to Fallout New Vegas Remastered 2021 Modded. So, to start off with, creating a character, what kind of character will we complete the game with? Well, um, as with a lot of uh, genre mixes, I think that we can go with something that would fit right in both in Fallout, but also in uh, Heavy Metal, and by that I mean Möbius and Jodorowsky Heavy Metal, Metal Yolon uh, comic strips. Sort of a flamboyant, but likable and naive, in some ways, character. With a uh, strangely poetic and... Uh, <laughs> engaging name that they always manage to, to create. Uh, let's think about it a bit. Um, I think that's it. A weapon and a wind. Seems fitting enough. Yes, let's go with that. But at the Mistral. <laughs> I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't Thank mind, you, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. Well, let's just see about that, Doc, then. How'd I do? Well, incorrect gender. Let's play a female character. Something a bit more aggressive. That'll be it. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Well, just Good. barely. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that vigor tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. All right, let's see. Hmm, I was in bed. A bit run down, Doc, but seems cozy enough. I can walk. You were looking good so far. Go ahead and give the Vigor Tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. Alright, let's uh, see about that. Well, and just for this occasion, I have prepared a uh, home-brewed Fallout New Vegas uh, remastered Bible. Just so that we could uh, take a peek into our futures every now and again and figure out what the best course of action could be to make sure that we hit every single piece of content available in the game in an organic fashion. I just love these descriptions. Uh, this is actually, well, as can be expected when developing something, not the uh, first draft of these, but uh, definitely, uh, if not the best, pretty good Pretty damn good ones. Perception. 
we won't need much of that, even when varmin sneak up on them. Endurance. That we will need a lot of to endure all the difficulties and probations of the Mojave. It's going to be tough. We will be playing this hard and on survival mode, on hardcore mode. So charisma, we don't need much of that, which essentially makes us a misanthrope apparently. We won't be uh, shying away from getting rid of people that might not really be that helpful to us uh, over the course of our adventures, but still, misanthropy is a bit much. It might turn out that we might be uh, a force for general good, who knows. Stacked deck, lucky son of a gun. Indeed, I hope we can be called that at some point instead of the uh, person that just got repeatedly shot in the head, which is uh, our moniker thus far. All right, I think that's pretty much it. it there just might be ways to increase these sometime in the future, who knows? Huh. Must be some frontal lobe damage. Well, I you know your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a bighorn or dropping. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? Thank you for the... your dogs are still barking. Compliment, Doc. I can read this just fine, by the way, if you wanted to test my vision and perception. Hmm. Indeed, jumping we can do without any issues. You know, misanthropy isn't necessarily caused by frontal lobe damage, Doc. I could just have an innate dislike for humans in general. Hmm. Shoot, Doc. All right. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Cat. House. Renovate. Night. Dream. Bandit. Swiss cheese. Light. Beam. Mother. Are you sure this is entirely necessary and cannot be uh, reversed rather easily afterwards uh, in some way? Okay. Do you even now have a I baseline comparison? I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. All right. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Well, I would not say ain't. I would say isn't. So, it really depends, Doc, on what you mean. I ain't given to relying on others for support. All right, you're doubling down on the ain't, I see. Well, uh, with that, I would agree. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Not particularly, Doc. Uh, it just so happens to come about quite so often, more than I would like. So I would disagree with that in general. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Definitely disagree with that. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Really depends on whether you can Solve a problem by headbutting it. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. I see a dirty piece of paper. That's what I see. Yeah, an angry two-headed okay. ant. Okay. How about this one? A Fender Stratocaster at the exact moment when it's about to be smashed into an amp or right thereafter split open which is to say yeah, a priceless work of art last one clearly two bears high-fiving doc how could you not see that why is that not one of the options a uh, light in the darkness I guess well that's all she wrote I don't have nothing to compare it to so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results 
See if it all seems right to you. Not particularly, because we're a fix-it kind of gal. We will be a futuristic kind of gal, but we also like uh, to talk our way uh, into and out of trouble, if we can. We're kind of meddlesome that way. Alright, I think that seems right. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. All right. Just a formality. Just give me a pencil. Ain't like I expect to have got a family history of getting shot in the head. Well, that brings us to Uncle Tommy. Best known as Uncle Tommy brain splattered all over the floor on account of his frequent getting shot to the head type uh, activities. When I say frequent, that happened once. He was, as also, uh, kind of runs in the family, kind of a kamikaze type of fella. Running into trouble before actually considering the consequences. But he was also good-natured. That's how he got shot in the head. Tried to barter his way out of uh, a sour deal, let's say. So let's keep things in the family and uh, do just that. Except the all right, planes all over the floor part. Come with me, I'll see you out. Okay, Doc, let me just recover my senses for a bit. I'll be right out. I'm not at all stalling for time in order to completely loot your house, Doc, not at all. It's a comfy couch you got here, Doc. He's in the corner there. We're going to take everything. Uh, maybe I'll need that. Mm, I think we'll need it more. Ophthalmoscope. Probably can use that and we can't. How often have people done this to old good old Doc? I feel kind of guilty. Kind of. Hey Doc, I think I might need to use the facilities there. So you just um, hold on tight and stare at that wall there. Uh, that is not at all worrying uh, concerning your... Uh, mental state. Just stare at the blank wall, Doc. Stare there. What else can we take? So... Oh, lots of ammo. Let's even leave one of these for tea time. Nice. Lots of stuff. Oh, there's the bathroom. Good stuff in the kitchen. No, not at all. Not really. I'm done, Doc. Let's flush. Ugh. Flush! Don't... Ah, you animal. Ugh. Wash it out. Wash it out, quick. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, Beretta. Now we know how you roll, and you drink from the toilets. Like a dog. That reminds me of Uncle Cletus, but still. Let's keep it to Uncle Tommy's getting shot in the head tradition instead of other more... Let's say borderline cases in our family. I'm all done, Doc. Are these uh, for me? I'm still gonna take them. You dropped one. Are you feeling all right, Doc? Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Hmm. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. 
Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack and modesty. It was my wife's. I think she was about your size, and she hardly wore it after we left the vault. Felt it was too brazen. Hmm. Sorry for your loss, Doc. Um, thanks. I don't know what I could do to pay you back. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. Well, I reckon noted. some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your metal grave. Metal fella, you say? Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. I will try to not get killed anymore, Doc. Uh, it's one of my first priorities in life, not getting killed. Hardcore, yes. Immersion mode on. Huh, so you said Pip-Boy. Here it is. Interesting. Lots we can check up on on this thing. Ah, uh, there was the note. Instructions. Deliver the package at the north entrance to the Vegas Strip by way of Freeside. Places I don't know? Not just yet, at least. Uh, an agent of the recipient will meet you at the checkpoint. Take possession of the package and pay for the delivery. Bring the payment to Johnson Nash at the Mojave Express Agency in Prim. Bonus on completion, 250 caps. We have 29 caps. That's a considerable sum. Manifest. This package contains... 1. Oversized poker chip composed of platinum. And that's it. Okay, that seems like a very odd thing to have delivered. One poker chip. Contract penalties. You are an authorized agent of the Mojave Express package until the delivery is complete and payment has been processed. Contractually obligated to complete this transaction and materially responsible for any malfeasance or loss. This is starting to sound like a medication, uh... notice regarding uh, possible side effects. Hmm. Failure to deliver the proper recipient may result in forfeiture of your bonds and bonus, criminal charges, and or pursuit by mercenary reclamation teams. That's ominous. People might be coming after us, I see. Hmm. On account of this terrible lack of delivery of the oversized poker chip. Apparently, the Mojave Express is not responsible for any injury or loss of life you experience as a result of the set reclamation efforts. Thank you, so I cannot sue them, I guess, if there's such a thing in the Mojave. Well, Doc, uh, where am I exactly? You said I expect pranks. you'll be wanting to go outside after being cooped up for so long, but if you have any questions, I'll answer what I can. Okay, uh, so what is this uh, town exactly? Uh, this here's Good Springs, named after the water we got here, just down the road to the southeast. Good Springs Source, they call it. It's a quiet town, and that's how we like it. We don't go looking for trouble, though occasionally it sees fit to come looking for us. Hmm. Well, that, uh... is kind of to be expected in these, uh, rather troubled times. Uh, what uh, about the the fella that rescued me, the, the metal fella you said? That'd be Victor. Curious fella. He's sort of odd, and I don't just mean because he's a robot. I couldn't tell you much about him. He's real friendly, don't get me wrong. You just get the sense that that ain't the whole picture. Just a feeling. He keeps to himself, mostly. You want to know more about him, you'll have to ask him yourself. He has a shack on the southern edge of town. Hmm. I'll maybe uh, pop on down to know a bit more about the, the fella. Uh, what about the, the people that were trying to knock me out of the game? I didn't see him or the men with him. You might ask around town, though. Could be someone saw which way they was headed. Your best bet would probably be Trudy, the bartender at the saloon up the road. If anyone saw anything, she'd know about it. 
Okay, I'll talk to her. What about yourself, Doc? You didn't say much, exactly. Well, I already told you I came from a vault. After that, I was a traveling doctor for a spell. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Most folks out here ain't educated, so people with medical know-how are hard to come by. I found that I could help a lot of people with what I knew, and that was all right with me. Eventually, I went back and married my childhood sweetheart, and that was the end of my traveling days. Didn't miss it none then. Still don't. Hmm. Well, you did say you got something taken from you. Well, ain't we all, right? That was a long time ago. I don't pay it much mind anymore. I won't pry anymore then. Uh, thanks again, Doc. You take care now. You too. Hmm. Well. Nice looking vault suit. Really, uh, close fitting. Guess I am uh, Doc Mitchell's wife's size. Hmm. Uh, he's managed to make a home. An actual home. Well, not sure exactly what we're going to be able to do uh, ourselves, but huh, sooner than rather than later, I think we're going to have to face the world, the outside world, the big bad wolves. We seem pretty determined to do uh, what we can to find out what the hell happened to us, at least. Who tried to kill us? Why? And, uh, eventually get everything sorted. So, first things first, I think we should, um, try to figure out just exactly what is or was going on here in Good Springs. And then, uh, eventually move on out. After the, uh, people that, uh, put us in the grave. So, on to Good Springs. bright out here. Ah. What a quaint little town. Oh, there's the robot fella. I think this is the guy uh, Mitchell was talking about. Hey there, partner. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? I'll take that as a compliment. I'm guessing uh, you were the one that dug me out. Thanks. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. I find that oddly hard to believe for some reason. How did you happen to come across me in a grave? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. It's all it looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. That's mighty kind of you. How uh, coincidentally fortunate. Any more information on the people that were uh, burying me alive? Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. Hmm. I see that you're not as helpful as can be, despite the folksy charm you're trying to, to pull off. I've never seen anything like you, uh, actually. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. That's a long time ago. 2060. You're mighty old, fella. How did you come about, uh... 
hanging about uh, in Good Springs. I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway, that is odd. it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. It looks like it, indeed. Still not convinced about, uh... Happy trails! You too, partner. Still not convinced. Hmm. That is an odd fella. As so rightly so Doc put it. Oh, a farmer seems to be uh, doing alright for himself. Quite a few crops growing. And uh, some sort of beast of burden or uh, cattle there. With big horns. Oh. Seeds. Ah, nice and tasty. Good Springs General Store. Prospector Saloon. Open 24 hours. And there goes Victor moseying down the road. Hmm. Well, that's where Doc Mitchell said Trudy would be. Or maybe at the... Hey, there. Mojave Express Dropbox. Mojave Express drop boxes like this one can be used to deliver items to any Mojave Express drop box that you've discovered. Once you find a Mojave Express drop box, just activate it and you will be able to use that location to send and receive items. Now, why weren't we doing this delivery service instead of the uh, getting shot in the head delivery service, Breta? Just tell me that. Hmm. Seems like, uh, uh, that's a gas station. Not that there are any cars about. Well, at least functioning ones. Quite a few buildings, I'm guessing there's... At least a sizable group of people uh, living here. Does seem like a peaceful, if somewhat desolate place to, to live, though. Let's see, the saloon? Hey there, fella. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Easy Pete? Howdy. I'm Beretta. Easy. Uh, that's a <laughs> slightly uh, humorous name. How did you uh, come to be called that? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now we'll just take it easy and help ah, out see. with the Brahmin and Bighorners. The easy life. You say prospecting, like, uh, for, uh, precious metals? Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. Hmm, I see. Well... Uh, it seems like it can uh, turn dangerous right quick if you're prospecting for the wrong things in the wrong place. Uh, ever find anything good? Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river, but got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. Hmm. Yes. Uh, I can. Uh, I can imagine why. Do you have any? Uh particular use for those uh, big corners you're talking hide, about. mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. Can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. I'll keep an eye out and not mess with them in the wild then. Uh, I was just talking to that uh, metal fella. Any uh, insight? The machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something, but I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Hmm. I think there's something more to him than that. Uh, 
did you catch uh, anything about the people that were uh, out to get me? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though, if you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Well, thank you again for the advice. You seem to be uh, a man wise from all of years. All of those years prospecting. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. And why isn't maybe Slick also easy, Pete? Is there anything particular about the schoolhouse you don't want me to find? Because uh, I don't even know what or where the schoolhouse might be. You're the first person to mention it and telling me not to go there. So... I might go there. See you around, Pete. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Glad to hear that. I gather your sunny smiles. Doc said you could help me. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Alright. Huh, nice looking place. These folks, uh, great woodwork. These folks, uh, have uh, made a comfortable life for themselves out here. Not much of a crowd, though, nor a barkeep. And gun in a cup might come in handy sometime, I guess. Ah, there you are. Say, Sonny, so, anything in particular you'd like to show me back here? Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Hey, point that thing somewhere else, please. Thank you. So you say, oh, I see. Let's get this out then. Take a knee. That's the right idea. Look down the side. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll make a nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you Indeed what. Indeed not. I gotta go chase geckos away from my water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Okay, I'm it. Follow Seems me. like a problem. Uh, it's just down to the southeast a short ways. Sure, like a problem you have uh, to sort out fairly regularly, I would imagine. Critters being attracted to uh, to the water supply. Huh? There is. A lot to be seen about uh, town, apparently. A big water tower up there. Uh, some strange cross over in the distance. It's uh, that a ways. And so many buildings. Yeah, quite a few people live here, I would gather. Where are you taking me exactly? Your dog's a bit uh, antsy. Out into the wilderness, I guess. Did she smell something? Maybe. Just in case, let's be ready. What's that? Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? Certainly we got some did. geckos that clear out. Bunch of geckos. little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Okay, well... Let's do exactly that then. Keep quiet, Cheyenne. Okay, you're on. Go give them hell. All right, well, let's see. Let's see what we can get. 
All right, I see the deposit. Oh, I see movement. Hmm, easy enough. Just squeeze the trigger gently. Oh, there's more apparently. They're not happy. Also down. See? Well. You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Sure, let's go. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Let's get this thing sort of jammed. Ah, reloaded. A lot of narrow passageways around here. Oh. No, oh, they're coming. <laughs> Careful with the dog there. injured. Huh. Ooh. Misfire. I think we need to change weapons because this is not the best of, uh, of choices. Let's see uh, if this can do any better. I hear things. I hear something. I hear them. Where are they? Oh! You seem like you're in trouble, ma'am. Yes, let's try to get... Maybe... Hmm. How are you doing? Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you'd done, I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Why, thank you. Much obliged. Glad I could help. Huh. Guess these things can be dangerous when hunting in packs. Well, not waste the meat and uh, hides then. I can understand why they come here. It's just an easy water source to get to, so... I'm sure you have to handle something like this quite often. Hey there, Sunny. Ah, more geckos? Is this the one? Oh, I um, must have shot it away. Well, now that was some good work. Yeah. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing Thanks. I wanted to show you. Thought Let's I might eat. teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Couldn't hurt. All right, then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Well, that's a really long walk back. Huh. Are you sure I have to do that? And go all the way back to town? I mean... These things should be uh, available all over the place if it's such a useful uh, thing to cook. No? Huh, somebody left some uh, scrap around here. Hey Sonny, don't 
go walking now into the wilderness. Uh, I don't know these here birds. Huh? There's plants over here. I'll just uh, take a look around and see if I can uh, find some of those plants you were uh, talking about. Oh, that's fine. Uh, I know who I am. I see some uh, rude type things. Xander Rude. Hey, Sonny! I found one! Oh, I can hear something. I can certainly hear something. So, yeah, knew I'd heard something. They have a very distinct call, which is handy enough, so you can, uh, at least try to avoid getting snuck up on by uh, these fellas. Now, oh, I see bushes and this rather distinctive orange rock flower. Huh. How coincidentally fortuitous that um, we should find... Oh, and there's... More of this easily recognizable root just here. Ah, and some uh, other stuff. White or metal. Another flower of sorts. Hmm. Might be useful for something else. Hey, Sonny, I think I've got the stuff we needed. Hey there, Cheyenne. You look a bit uh, beat up, but you'll be fine. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Well, it's still a small drink. I'm guessing you have uh, other uses for it. Healing powder. One brock flower, one santa root. Perf Perception minus one, HP plus one over 18 seconds. Uh, not very keen on the perception loss, but in a pinch, why not? Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well... I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Yeah, she does seem to be the town mom. Uh, you're not the first person to tell me to go see her. Hey there, girl. Oh, who's this guy? Hello? Can you help me? What's wrong? You look, uh, downtrodden. My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please, she's going to die. Where did you say exactly? Go up the path, past the broken radio tower, and go to the right. They're at the top of the trail. I'll see what I can do. I was up there just a minute ago. There there was at least one gecko. You will? Thank you for helping me. Please hurry. But there's something off about your request. You don't seem too eager to help her yourself. 
but let's see. So up the uh, ridge with the broken tower. That's where we were uh, getting the flowers and uh, roots. Just make sure that he's not stalking behind me. So up the ridge, you say. Let's see if there's anything we need to... Oh. powder will come in handy. Huh. What else is coming for us? Don't see any more geckos. Oh, there's one over there. There is an extra one over there. If you want to come out to play, I'll be more than happy to oblige. There's barely any movement just behind those bushes there. Come out, come out. Doesn't seem like he wants to play. Well, maybe we'll just have to move in ourselves. Let's just keep an eye on our... Uh, on our backs. You were around here somewhere. There you are. Another one over there. Are we hitting anything? Hmm. Oh, and there's more over there our computer picked up. This, uh, pit boy thing is useful. It's jamming on us. Okay, one down. Ooh, there's quite a few over there. Come on, don't jam on us now. Are they coming? Seem to be coming. Okay. Let's get ready for them. seem too eager to be running down the hill. Let's try and get a few bot shots in if we can. Okay, one down. They are kind of quick and difficult to get at when they were just running around like crazy. That's just two young yums. I think we can uh, handle two of those. Ah, one more root. That might just be useful at some point. Ah, let's not waste any of this. Come on. 
on, come on, come on. Okay, well. A bit sloppier than I would have liked. There's still one more. Why are you running off? Oh no, you don't. You can't just run past me like that. One flower. I can get some more of that uh, healing powder. Ah, quite a lot of uh, meat on these guys. These fellas uh, must be some good eating. Okay. Uh, I don't see any more geckos, nor uh, do see some uh, remains. But no woman needing rescue. Don't really know what to make of that fella that is no longer down by the uh, campfire. Where did he go? Hmm. Let's have a quick bite. Oh. Huh. An activated bear trap. Guessing the geckos... Hmm. Might have tried to get at this uh, poor fella here. Certainly had a... Uh, his refrigerator... Well protected. Leave you your dignity. Yeah, you had quite a quite a few point here for your uh, photography. That's an odd hobby to have these uh, these days. Hmm. You can't see far and wide. Oh, there's the roller coaster uh, place. I see. So down the road, indeed. That seems a bit ominous. Let's just not. Put the wagon and head. Oh, there's the fella. Don't come too close, or I'll shoot. What do you want, Sam? Sorry, now? I tricked you, but thanks for clearing out the geckos. Now I can get to that stash up there. <laughs> after I deal with you. I see. I see. Over here. I see your plan. Well, you do shoot quite well, but. That's going to be well enough. <sighs> well. That was certainly... Well, somewhat unexpected at least. This guy really could not be trusted. I think we could use getting our lockpick up and some of our gun skill. And perhaps Parter, so we can get better prices for uh, things we can uh, sell and buy. And who wouldn't want to be uh, like a, uh, a spider? Of course. Well, that is 10% damage against all male opponents. And as we will find out, especially in the Legion, most of our enemies will be male. Well... We took a bit of a beating there. Let's uh, heat up a bit. What were you so eager to add to in your collection? All you had didn't have much, Mr. Barton Thorn. You didn't have much. Let's just keep on our toes and... Uh, Make sure nothing creeps up on our behinds. Ah, we do need some more of that healing powder, I see, because, uh... Whew. Let's get some, uh, sarsaparilla in us. That Barton and Thorn, what a snake. Almost got us. 
we need to watch our backs a bit more carefully, I'd say, in the future. So, let's get some of this uh, healing powder going. Maybe this would be a more appropriate attire for uh, the wasteland uh, when compared to the basic vault suit. I see something moving behind us. Well, I thought I saw something moving behind us. Maybe just the wind playing tricks on us. Well, in any case, let's get back to town. What a bloodbath. Let's get back to town. I think we could use uh, a bit of rest. And perhaps uh, even somewhere to call temporary home. An abandoned cart over here. Let's just uh, try to recover. I'm not sure we did. Uh, recover all the meat and hides we could for... Uh, Whatever uses they might be, uh, might come in handy for. Hmm. No more geckos around here. It seems so. Let's go up to the first uh, watering hole we were at. We shot two somewhere around here. Could have critters already got to them? Maybe. Maybe. Well, let's just have a quick drink out of this really nice and fresh water there. Alright then, well, let's head back. <laughs> 